Hello there, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you so much for being here today. You're the Knight of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. This person might be waiting for an opportunity with you. Maybe fearing rejection of some sort or feeling rejected or low somehow. Just feeling, I feel like they're kind of lacking confidence right now. The Knight of Pentacles. I do like when the Knight of Pentacles comes up to me. That usually indicates someone who is um, loyal or you know they have uh, decent intentions. Um, Ten of Cups. Ten, ten. This is the Empress. And the Ace of Swords. And with the Page of Coins. Second, guys, I just need to turn on the light here. All right, so it does look like this person sees big dreams, sees big things for the future in this connection. Something is getting them a little down right now, or maybe feeling, yeah, I'm, I'm getting they, they lack confidence or they feel very stuck in one place, like they're standing still right now, like they just keep going through cycles and they feel like held back from this destiny with you it is um frustrating with them they do feel like um they see so clearly that you guys belong together they they really i'm feeling like there's a lot of visioning of what um what kind of beautiful future you guys could create together because they do feel this amazing connection with you i love this card in this deck feels like just such a nice um home connection that you guys have something that just feels so comfortable I feel like I, I'm getting a lot of honest energy here because um, with the Knight of Pentacles coming out first, finishing with the Ace of Swords, I do feel like this person has very honest intentions towards you. They really want to take care of you. And here, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so this is what they're kind of struggling with is maybe to stay optimistic here about things. Um... They just sometimes feel like things aren't going to work out. And this brings them a lot of depression, really. It's like a bummer for them. And here's, will you choose me? So maybe this person is concerned, worried that um, they're not enough for you. Um, they don't have enough to offer you. Or like maybe someone else has caught your interest. This could be a big concern of theirs. I still don't have all the answers. So here's this like confusion and lack of clarity here. This person just, um, I feel like they are struggling to find, uh, find some answers about this connection, about the future with you. Maybe they are confused about their current path in life, taking... Um, you know, a certain, a certain way to, um, maybe they need to make some kind of choice to, to do something different in their life right now. And there's, there is confusion around, um, whether this is going to work out with you or not. Um, but I feel like they very much want this to, I feel like there's a very strong desire and pull for this to work out. And we have, you are so very special. So that's a sweet card. I like that card a lot. And I have so much desire for you. So this person, their, their desire for you, what they think of you, I feel like none of that is um, ever wavering. Here's I'm not ready. I'm not ready to take this leap of faith. This pile seems pretty connected to um, pile one. I, or I wasn't ready for this. I'm surprised at this. This is a big turn of events in my life. And I maybe I thought I know how my life was going. Maybe my life was very routine. And it made the sense. It was simple. And now I'm there's this huge destiny shown to them with you. And they're like, whoa, I don't know what to do with this. And I need to work on myself first. And then we have, I'll choose you in a heartbeat over and over again. So maybe this person doesn't know if you'll choose them, but they feel like they'll choose you. And I love you on the bottom of the deck. I feel a lot of loving energy from this person. I do like this person very much from what I'm feeling from the cards here. I usually don't get too many like yucky people <laughs> coming through my readings, like overall, like, um, you know, what the person turns into collectively. Um, but yeah, this is one of those where I like particularly like the person.
And here is Octopus. Interesting. This person they could be highly intelligent with this Ace of Swords here as well. I feel like truth, honesty, uh, mental clarity is very important to them. I feel like they're, they're very beautiful too with this moth here. Um, I feel like they kind of like to, to hide themselves away from the world. Um, because I, I feel like they do have this beautiful spirit. They're very, very, very sensitive as well. They might feel like they don't have any like really good shielding up. So, um, they, they feel good with you though. They feel like they can trust you. Like you'll take care of them. Like you understand their sensitivity. This is what they, they really, really like about you. You know, they don't feel like you're going to prey on them in any way. You're not going to take advantage of them. All right, and this person, yeah, they're very, very sensitive. They can feel you, like they can pick up on all your energy. You guys have a very intuitive connection. All right, so what are their main thoughts about you, Pile 2? They have the star. Wow, this person admires you, adores you, really. And the Queen of Swords, two Aquarius cards right here. And we have the Seven of Wands. This person, I feel like they've had their heart broken before. They've just had a lot of, faced a lot of rejection. You know, they've, they've gotten a little bit cold-hearted, stone-hearted in some ways, but not totally. They're still very sensitive and sweet. Um, so they do put their guard up a lot. And, um, you know, I feel like they still, they were surprised by you. I feel like they were surprised to let you into their life because they had been putting up some walls with you but I feel like they're, they're like I want to find a reason to let down these walls I want to have so much more with you I, I want a, I want this future with you I want a beautiful future I want the pain of the past to be gone I want something good and wow the knight of swords as well Okay, so sometimes this person just does not know what to say to you. Like they can't explain themselves. I feel like their their communication is cut off, like somewhat because of this um, defensive shield, like they do put up um, with um, just they feel like they can't tell you everything about what's going on with them, and, and this is just out of protection from them for their, from them for themselves, so they don't get a worse broken heart. You know, if if you do reject them or you know, don't, don't feel things in the same way as they do. Like they can't stand that. They want everything to be like so mutual between you two. And here, wow, love. I'm so madly in love with you. Yeah. Like I said, this person does adore you very, very much. And this is why it's, it's very hard for them to let some guards down because they, they just really can't stand the idea if it's, if it's unbalanced, not mutual, if there's someone else, you know, that kind of stuff. What are they feeling about you? Here's the emperor. This person wants to build something with you. This is, I see this as someone very serious about things. Um, they want something for the long term. They really want to protect you as well. There's the ace of wands. This person is on fire for you. And the king of cups. Wow. With the six of wands. This person really dearly wants things to work out with you. And they have both the love and the passion, the attraction for you. So to them, this is something that it's worth building something with um, the person that they have, you know, both such love and attraction for. They wouldn't want to build something with someone that they just had attraction for, like a physical attraction. They want to have a deep heart and soul connection with someone, which they definitely feel like they have with you. And here's focus. Wow, I know what I want and I can't stop until I have it. So yeah, this person is, I feel very determined to work toward this, even if they do feel a bit stuck or down, you know, they, they haven't given up, you know, I feel like just say the word and they're going to come running um, once they get a better understanding of how you're feeling about things. And here's loyalty forever yours. So yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, a very loyal person. And greed, I want it all and I deserve it also. Yeah, this person is focused on just you guys having a full relationship together. Maybe if you're just friends right now, they want to have so much more. Like they, they want to be able to connect to someone on every level. They just want it to keep going deeper and deeper with you. We have lots of Scorpio energy of Scorpio and Aries. So Aries, so that's a very intense, powerful, fiery, focused combination. That is a ton of power right here. Very powerful feelings. Okay, intentions towards you, pile two. Here's the seven of pentacles. This person wants to keep investing in you and the connection with you. They want to keep building a future with you. Here's the wheel of fortune. They also feel like maybe you guys 
need some help from you know outside outside circumstances and events so they, they want to give this some time as well and they're hoping for the best they're hoping for good things for you guys to um, unite wow speaking of uniting here's the four of wands coming off the bottom they are willing to work toward this eight of um, pentacles okay so this person sees a beautiful future with you and they they are wanting to keep planting seeds for this future to have this um, harvest to have this you know complete harmony and union with you so this is um really lovely so far you know they they really want things to just be healed between you two for them from the past they they want this just like new new start new life with you here okay what are their main blocks and fears in this connection with you pile two just I feel like being unsure of how you feel they'll go I feel like they'll go through anything for you and here's the ten of swords they're so afraid of, lo of losing you of maybe you cutting them off of this ending they're, they're really just afraid of this connection suddenly ending one day out of nowhere doing something to upset you and then you stop communicating with them maybe they're very afraid of being ignored okay um we also have the four of pentacles yeah they're afraid that you'll just withdraw or that maybe they'll never know the truth they have and they're having a hard time showing you more of their cards as well they're keeping their cards close to their chest out of self-protection what do they most want you to know pile two here's the six of pentacles Here is the Hierophant. So they're really committed to doing their part, to um, doing their share and giving you as much as they can. They want to give to you a lot. And th they really want this to be a beneficial relationship for both of you. So they've learned that they can't be in a connection that's going to drain them as well. So that's why they have, you know, tried to put up some healthy boundaries sometimes and try to protect themselves because they've had people easily take advantage of them because they do commit easily because they are you know someone who is loyal um maybe they don't commit so easily anymore but this is someone who started off that way it seems like so they're like as long as i know things are mutual i am deeply committed to you and i want to be with you and here's the page of swords so they're like, I'm all ears. I keep my eyes open, my ears open for communication from you. I will completely, I take in everything that you say to me. I'm trying to understand you. Um, I want this to work. I want to, you know, see how we can make this work. And speaking of making something work, the Three of Pentacles is, is building a foundation together, being a team together, creating something real together. Okay, so they like where you guys have headed they, they feel like you guys can um if they feel like there's a good purpose for you guys to be together as well like it's not just all fun and games okay advice card for you pile two here's receiving i open up and allow myself to receive love in all ways from all directions it may seem scary but it's better than receiving audits bed bugs or hate mail I receive love and it feels so good that I decide to re receive it some more and then some more and maybe just a wee bit more. All right, this is good advice for you, pile two. Um, we have the four of cups coming out here. So this is a reminder to make sure you are open to all the good in your life. Um, you know, don't get too focused on receiving your good from just one place. The more, like if there is one place you want to receive that good from, especially the more you open up to and feel happy and appreciative from the good from other places as well, the more likely that the other channel that you that you want to receive from will open up um, for you as well. Or you will just feel so happy that, you know, you're, you're not so attached to to where the good comes from in life. So just open up to to receive good things in your life pile, too. Also, make sure you, um, you know, work on feeling like you deserve to have a good and happy life as well it doesn't have to come from a like conceited place just um a place where you're you're just finding peace okay so what might they say to you pile two 
the separation is killing me. So you guys could be um, you know, in separation at a distance here. And this does really weigh on them. Maybe that's why, where this um, uncertainty about how things are going to go in the future um, is coming up for them. And that's what's scaring them. That's why they do have a, sometimes a hard time staying optimistic about things. I worry this is all in my head. Wow. Yeah, because they're, they're not sure if, you know, you would choose them as much as they choose you. And I'm ready to act. Yeah, just say the word. I'm keeping, um, keeping an eye on you, keeping an eye out for when you want this too. Because something is holding me back right now. And I feel that it's more them protecting themselves. Okay, here is, I've liked you for a really long time. Seems to be the case. I feel connected to you. Interesting, since we have, um, there's a strange and deep connection between us. So maybe this is someone who tried to forget about you, tried to ignore this connection, but then they kept experiencing over and over again, just um, all these thoughts of you, like they couldn't drop you from their mind. Um, the Ace of Swords, this could be someone just really thinking about you a lot or just getting a new idea or new perspective on you, just seeing you in a new light because we have let's start over here. So um, this could either mean that they, they've seen you in a new way and they're like, oh my gosh, yeah, this is the person I want to be with in my life. Um, or, you know, they see you as the opportunity to have a new life. I'm falling in love. Wow. Okay, here is, I think I've lost you for good and it's my own fault. I wish I could tell you the truth. I have a big truth to say, but I don't know how to get it out. I don't know how to explain it all. I have no idea how to deal with my own emotions, never mind yours. And here is, thank you for being so patient and understanding. Here's you are the one. Yeah, I, was, I definitely see that here with the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, and the Empress here, the Ace of Swords. I mean, it's a big deal. I see you as a big deal. I feel sad. I feel sad. I don't really know how to get this to work right now. Or I feel sad that I feel like I can't express all my truth to you. Or I'm just deeply empathic. I just pick up on everything. I love you. Wow. And I think we have, I love you coming through on the bottom of that other deck as well. And when you hear our song, know that I am with you. I really do care. So they, yeah, that's nice. They do care a lot about you. You help me to see clearly. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm hiding my feelings from you. And my heart belongs to you. Wow, this person does seem so loyal and true, committed. Okay, here is, um, you turn me on in unexpected ways and at unexpected times. This whole thing is just unexpected. Like I said, it was like a twist of fate for them. Like, just going along in their life, and then all of a sudden. Every song I hear reminds me of you. It doesn't matter where I am or who I am with. You always come to mind when I hear certain lyrics. I'm afraid of this love. Afraid of pain, too. Wow, that's we really saw that. And soulmates. We have a special connection, my love. We've done this before. Yeah, there's a strange and deep connection between us. And then from the bottom of the deck here... I'm, oh, wow. I'm truly in love with every piece of you. Wow, you guys got a pretty nice reading here. So 